In this installment, we're going to be going over the MLB bet slate for Monday, August 5th. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our August 5th MLB bet slate we got going on for Monday. But before we deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon. Right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel, currently at 7.55 thousand subscribers this is the road to 10k and we are well on our way because you guys are showing up each and every single day guys if you're already subscribed continue to like and comment that helps the youtube algorithm so we can grow to a broader audience and also on the patreon we have some very very solid plays today i'm going to show you the good and the bad okay so um on on the main plays love the giants today that came through that was the first game of the day some of uh the next selection here this was part of the late game i posted that i posted three home runs one of them came through mike talkman that was a, a nice payout there plus 700 i also had the cubs on the money line uh hopefully that comes through as well They're, they are currently winning so um late night was very strong the community parlay fell off off it was wild i don't i did not understand both of these teams the tigers they were up the majority of the game. They lost the game in the ninth inning. They gave up three runs in the top of the ninth. As you can see right there, we had the Giants. The Tigers fall through. Now, for the Pirates, the Pirates were winning the majority of the game. And in the second half, they falter. That bullpen uh, falters there. Pittsburgh doesn't come through us for uh, for another community parlay that doesn't come through. But we bounce back, all right? The top play I gave out. This was my favorite play. To, I gave it out last night. All right. Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Orioles came through uh, very strongly right there. All right. So some ups and some downs, but we finished strong with the late night games here with the home run. And hopefully the Cubs can close it out. All right. So if you want to have access to the Patreon, that link is provided down below. All right. When you sign up, you get access to the daily bets, future bets, and access to that community group chat. All right. I'm so excited to announce I have partnered with BetStamp and Signup Expert to provide you guys with an easier way to sign up with any sportsbook in your area. If you go to the link in the description down below, you will be directed to this page you see here. It automatically displays all available sportsbooks in your area plus their current promotions. For example, you could take the plays given in this video and apply it to any other sportsbooks you don't currently have and reap the rewards. Now let's get into the slate. Before we start with the first game, uh, guys, don't forget in that description section there, bet stamp Monday through Friday, bet stamp provides free bets. Uh, all you got to do is go to that description section, click on that link from bet stand that goes directly to the article of the day. All right. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are going to be regular bets and Tuesday is going to be home runs. All right. So definitely pay attention to that description link down below all right first game here bush stadium st louis cardinals 57 and 54 going against the new york mets 58 and 53 um current odds on this one we have the new york mets slightly as road favorites minus 115 with the comeback of the cardinals the total run set at eight and a half all right public bet percentage here 89 percent of the bets 90 percent of the money on st louis so that is a very shocking sight to see here uh, with this line leaning towards the Mets, but heavily with the bets and money on the side of the Cardinals. All right. Total runs, 97 percent of the bets, 96 percent of the uh, of the money here on the over eight and a half. All right. Pitching matchup here. Sean Manaya. All right. Seven and four. Wow, that's crazy. All right, Sean Manaya, seven and four with a three point five zero ERA. Andre Pallante, four and five with a four point zero four ERA. Looking at these two matchups here, Pallante, he's the guy that tends to struggle. He has a four point six five uh, ERA at home. This is a guy. This is a righty that cannot pitch the righty, similar to Griffin Canning. 
Um, we're looking at his numbers against righties. It's a 1.08 home run for nine. It's a 314 batting average. It's a 1.68 whip. And the Babbitt is almost at 400 at 370. All right. On the other side here, Sean Mania, he's going up against the Cardinals here. He's a left-handed pitcher. The Cardinals are 27th in the league against lefties. All right. So this is a good matchup here for Sean Mania. And on the road, he's been pretty strong with a 3.17 road ERA. All right. Some of the blemishes for Mania. He does have a raised walk rate. Um, to both lefties and righties, his walk rate is above 10%. And also, he's given up a 1.20 whip to both lefties and righties, all right? Nothing too, too crazy, but just letting you guys know, he will give up a hit or two here to both lefties and righties in each inning. But he's also given out a low, very low average and a low home run rate. So he doesn't give up home runs, uh, doesn't give up much average. But we'll give up a hit or two each inning. All right. Just wanted to let you guys know about that. This one here, I'm on the side of, of the New York Mets. It doesn't make sense here. Looking at the bet percentage and money percentage for the Mets to still be favored in this in this game here. Plus, I get the better pitcher on the mound. Palante struggles against righties. That doesn't bode well uh, for him. Uh, Mets on the money line. And for the total, I'm going to. I'm going to lean towards the under on the total, okay? Next game up in Wrigley Field, Chicago Cubs, 54 and 59, going against the Minnesota Twins here, 62 and 48. Twins come here as road favorites, minus 120, with the comeback of the Cubs at a plus 100. Total runs set at eight, all right? For the public bet percentage here, 70% of the bets on the, on the side of Chicago, but the Sharps here, 67% of the money on the Minnesota Twins holding strong there uh, as road favorites. Okay, interesting to see that one there. No information yet on the total with the percentages. Okay, starting pitching matchup. This one is very, very ugly. David Festa, 1 and 2 with a 6.98 ERA going against Kyle Hendricks, 3 and 9 with a 6.86 ERA. Both of these guys have been absolutely horrible. All right, I'm letting you know that right now. Top play for this game will be the over on the total. Give me the over of eight runs right now. I want, I'll take that right now, this very second here. Uh, Kyle Hendricks, he's been horrible this year at on home and on the road. It doesn't matter. He's been at, he's had an over five ERA in both uh, locations here. And to go deeper in his numbers against lefties, it's a 1.96 home run per nine. It's a 289 batting average and a 1.58 whip. Uh, for the righties here, he has given up a lot of hits. Not much power, but hits. A 318 batting average and a 1.53 whip here. So the Twins bats that have a ton of power, lefty, and definitely can provide hits here with the righties, especially Willie Castro, um, are going to have a field day against Kyle Hendricks, all right? David Festa, on the other hand, is not nowhere near close as better. He's exactly the same as Kyle Hendricks, just as bad. An absolute gas can, and he has a big home run problem, all right, against righties. He's given up a 3.12 home run per nine, a 306 batting average, and a 1.5 whip. Uh, against lefties, a 2.53 home run per nine, a 273 batting average, and a 1.31 whip. So this is a game here I'm definitely expecting the bullpen to come through for both of these teams. So the top play, like I said, is going to be the over eight runs. That's the number one play. If I had to choose a winner, if I had to, I would lean towards the Twins um, in this scenario. It's going to be a high scoring back and forth game. Uh, whoever gets that bullpen at the end, I'm leaning towards the bats of the Twins in this one. All right. But top play over eight. Next up in Kauffman Stadium here, Kansas City Royals 63 and 50 going up against the Boston Red Sox 59 and 51. And this one here, we have the Royals as home favorites minus 150 with the comeback of the Boston Red Sox at a plus 125. Total runs set at nine and a half for that public bet percentage 84% of the bets, 92% of the money on the side of the Kansas City Royals. For the total, 80% of the bets, 85% of the money on the over, nine and a half. For this pitching matchup here, James Paxton, eight and three with a 4.52 ERA. Going up against Brady Singer here, eight and six with a 2.88 ERA. James Paxton has been 
pretty bad this year, all right? That's why, obviously, the Dodgers got rid of him, and now he's on the Boston Red Sox as his new team. He's going up against the Royals here, who are top 10 in the league against uh, opposing lefties there. And when you're looking at some of Paxton's numbers uh, against righties, it's a little bit concerning. A 1.30 home run per nine, a 1.55 whip, and the XFIP is at 5.68. Looking at his last start, James Paxton against the Seattle Mariners. And the Mariners are bottom three in the league against lefties. He gave up six runs, three earned runs, one home run, and five strikeouts in only four and one-third innings. So a very embarrassing performance out there for James Paxton here. And now he has to go up against this Royals team that tattoos lefties, all right? When we see the Mets against lefties. When we see the D-backs against lefties, when we see the Royals against lefties, you take full advantage of them, okay? Brady Singer has been absolutely elite at home with a 2.20 home ERA. He has a low whip, a low average. He's been very, very consistent here at home for Kansas City throughout this entire season. I, I don't expect them uh, to, to for things to change here when we're looking at his numbers against lefties. The Red Sox have a lot of lefties here. He handles them very well. All right, so give me the Kansas City Royals on the money line. Uh, and for the total here, the Red, Paxton might just give up a lot of runs right there. I'm going to lean towards the over 9.5 with the total. Okay, so give me the Royals main play on the money line. Slightly over on that nine and a half. Next up in Oakland Coliseum here, we have the Oakland A's 46 and 67 uh, going up against the Chicago White Sox. All right, 27 and 87. The Chicago White Sox, guys, on a 20 game losing streak. All right, looking at the odds here, athletics deservedly home favorites minus 165 with the comeback of the White Sox at a plus 140, total runs at seven and a half. Public bet percentage here, 83% of the bets, 90% of the money on Oakland for the total runs, 93% of the bets, 92% of the money on the over seven and a half. All right. Jonathan Cannon, Cannon here for the White Sox, one and five with a 4.11 ERA going up against JP Sears, eight and eight with a 4.53 ERA. Sears has been pretty solid in his last five starts. Did have one blemish. That was against the um, Astros. But he has been pitching very well as of late in his last five innings, uh, giving up no runs, going six and uh, six innings to five innings uh, in between those two, uh, but giving strong outings here. And he pitches much better at home. When you see J.P. Sears at home, that he's more reliable there. As you can see in his record, despite the fact Oakland Athletics have struggled this year, he's got eight wins. All right, that's pretty impressive. All right, for J.P. Sears and for the fact that this team was so bad at the beginning of the year, all right? Jonathan Cannon, on the other hand, has huge home road splits, okay? A 2.90 home ERA, but on the road, it's a different story. A 5.76 road ERA. Um, against the lefties, he's given up a 1.62 home run per nine, a 347 batting average, a 1.8 whip, and the XFIP is at 5.31. Against righties, it's a 286. Uh, batting average and a 1.31 whip. He's going to see at least four lefties here in the lineup of, um, for the athletics going up against him here. We're, we're full fading the White Sox, okay? I know a couple days I had him on the money line. I'll tell you when, we're, we're, when we'll get back on the White Sox. Not yet. This streak is going to go a little bit longer here, all right? So give me the Oakland Athletics on the money line at a minus 165 and even take that minus one and a half as well if we're talking about a total uh for the runs here it tends to be one-sided when you're in one in white Sox games because they don't score many runs when you're looking at their team total it's usually at two so can the oakland athletics score five and a half runs six and we're gonna go with the over all right athletics on the money line uh, minus one and a half, one and a half athletics in the over on the seven and a half. Last but not least here, the reason why I say that is because, uh, two other games, they didn't announce the starter yet. Okay. So I can't go through a game if they did. They are, the pitchers are still undecided. It's like three different games that have pitchers undecided. So last but not least here, we have a special one, LA Dodgers, 65 and 47. 
Going up against the Philadelphia Phillies here, 66 and 45. Looking at the current odds, minus 135 for the Dodgers with the comeback of the Phillies at a plus 110. The total run set at eight. This is what I expected. I love seeing this. This is very, very good. All right, hopefully this works out. All right, we're going with this plan here, okay? Full game pet percentage. 82% of the bets, 99% of the money on the Dodgers. Let's say that again. 82% of the bets on the Dodgers, 99% of the money on the Dodgers as well, okay? This is not a scrub team. This is the Philadelphia Phillies here. 94% uh, of the bets, 95% of the money on the over eight runs between these two teams and these two elite pitchers, okay? Aaron Nola going up against Tyler Glass now here. Um, Aaron Nola is 11 and 4 with a 3.43 ERA. Glass now is 8 and 6 with a 3.53 ERA. Both of these guys are very strong home and road. These are two elite aces in the MLB here. If we're picking apart things, okay? On the road, Nola struggles against lefties, a 1.10 home run per nine, a 260 batting average, and a 1.29 whip. Nothing, nothing really great, glaring there. And he will face four to five lefties here in this lineup against the Dodgers, okay? Um, the exit is at a 4.38. On the side of Glass now, some of his weaknesses here, he's given up a low whip and a low average to both lefties and righties, but he has a home run issue there. Uh, against lefties, a 1.09 home run per nine, and, and against righties, a 1.06 home run per nine. All right, so my angle in this one, the reason why I'm pointing out the, the money percentage here so heavily on the Dodgers, if you go back to the beginning of the season, the last time these two teams played, um, they're not showing it here, but the Philadelphia Phillies swept the Dodgers. Right now in the season series, the Phillies are up three to zero. So that's why you're getting the Dodgers here back at home in such heavily bet on here. This is like a must win game for the Dodgers. Who says it's a must win game? All right. Maybe it's just more dominance. I'm going to be on the side of the Philadelphia Phillies here. I'm going to, to end the night to ride on the Dodgers this much uh, money here on this one particular side and it's not even a scrub it's a team that's just as good give me the underdog here plus 110 on the money line if we're going with an over under i would slightly lean i'm going with the over with the over on this one i'm going with the unexpected okay uh but unexpected on the philadelphia philly side so Phillies plus 110 over on the total. That's going to be our selections here for the Monday slate. Um, if you want to find out my selections on the other games, obviously that's going to come out tomorrow morning. Uh, you got to sign up for that Patreon. Remember that link is provided down below and I'll have my selections on those particular games that I did not speak about. Um, also, yeah, you got to sign up for the Patreon. So that link is provided down below. Let me know also in that comment section, uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you riding with me with the Philadelphia Phillies? Can they beat the Dodgers four games in a row? Very interesting to see there. Uh, remember, that link for bet stamp is provided down below as well. If you want more free bets on the Monday slate, all right? You go to that description section, all right? And I'll be back with another video very soon, all right? Peace out.